guys, today we are going to talk about one of the native bee species that we have here in North America, and that's the mason bee. So as you've learned about in other videos, honeybees are not native to North America. They're native to Europe, Asia, and Africa, but there are over 7,000 species of bees that are native to this part of the world, and mason bees is one of them. So in a previous video, you saw that we taught you how to make a native bee home, and then I wanted to show you guys what mason bees look like once they hatch. So in this box, there are mason bee cocoons, and I know for a fact that some of them had started hatching out. So I thought it would be fun to do a little mason bee unboxing together. So a few things before I open the box up. Um, mason bees fly or hatch very early in the season. So here in Texas, they're emerging usually in February or in March. And so right now it's the first week of April. So a little bit late to be getting mason bee cocoons. You can buy these from folks, from breeders that will sell them to you. So that's why they hatched in the mail is because uh, it's a little bit late for the season. So they're gonna start hatching once temperatures are about 60 degrees. Um, and it's definitely above 60 degrees here in Texas right now. Um, a few other things about what we're gonna see. There should be some males in here and some females. In a honeybee colony, the males are larger than the worker female bees, but it's the opposite with mason bees. So the worker bees, the females are a little bit larger and the males are smaller. Also with mason bees, you don't have a queen bee. So the female worker bee performs both the functions of the worker and the queen. So she's gonna be the one that's gonna go out and gather all the food and make the nest. Mason bees make their little nest chambers out of mud. She'll drop a small egg onto a bit of pollen in each chamber. So she performs the function of the queen and the honeybee, right? Because she lays the eggs. And she'll put the males in the front of the chamber and then the females in the back. So the males will hatch first and they kind of hang out waiting for the females to hatch. And then when the females hatch, they mate. And then the process starts all over again and the cocoons will hatch the next year. So let's open the box up and see what we've got. Okay guys, I'm gonna box the bees in this jar just so they don't fly away and we can get a good look at them before we open the jar up and we release them. So let's see here. I'm trying to do this very carefully so they don't fly away. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's put the lid on so we can take a seat. Okay, so we've got at least one female in here and a couple of males. So if you guys can see, this is a larger one up here. This is a female mason bee. And then down here is a smaller male bee. So let me see if I can take them out and you can get a little bit of a closer look. Here we go. So that's a female. See how much larger she is? And these are males. Look how teeny tiny they are. You see, that's a boy. This is a boy, he's on his back. Let's see if we can help him out. All right, so there's a boy. The ladies got with it, right? They, they gotta move on. So you can see this cocoon here actually hasn't hatched. So we'll keep waiting on this one. Look at y'all, boy mason bees have little mustaches. Can you see the little mustache on his front? Isn't that fun? But you can see here, oh my goodness, look, a little boy crawling out of the box. <laughs> He's just getting his bearings. And you can see here, <coughs> This is the cocoon after they've hatched out of it. Okay. And then this is a cocoon that hasn't yet hatched. So we'll wait on this one. Okay. Oh, oh that was a lady. <laughs> oh man, she was out. She'd been in there the whole time. Okay, you guys, so me and my two little mason bee dudes here are glad that you joined us today. Again, if you wanna build a home to help house mason bees and leaf cutter bees, check out that video. We'll put a link in the comments.